Hello beautiful people of the world and welcome to a new PD tutorial. In this video we're going to talk about connections, specifically why it is important to have connections made in a specific order. Up until now we've been connected objects without giving much importance to the order of connections, meaning the sequence of connections that we make while patching. But this is not really the best practice. And there is a very specific reason. And the reason is that in PD, the order of connections, it is really, really important because they have priorities. Let's make an example. So I'll create a bang, and then I'll create two message boxes. The first one with the one number in it, and in the second one, I will type the two number. And then I'll create a number atom. Now I'll create a print object. The print object basically prints everything that it is sent to into the console of the PD window. So let's connect all of these objects to the print object. And just to give you an example, I will click on them. And as you can see, numbers start to appear in the console. Okay, now we can clean this up using the Shift Command L shortcut or Shift Control. L if you are on Windows and Linux. Now let's connect the bang first to the first message box, then to the second message box, and then to the number atom. Now if I bang it, as you can see, we have a specific order, which is basically from left to right. So the objects that were connected first appear first in the console. Now let's change the order of connections. So let's delete this. And now let's connect the bang first to the number atom, then to the message box with the two number, and then to the message box with the one number. Now, if I bang it, as you can see, the order of numbers, it's different. And basically it is from right to left. Let's try another sequence. So I'll delete this. And now we'll connect first the center object, then I will connect the message box on the left, and I will connect the number atom on the right. Let's clean this up. So again, Shift Command L or Shift Control L. And now if I bang it, as you can see, the order is different again, and it follows the sequence of connections that we made in the patch. Now, why it is important to use the trigger object when we are patching. If simply by connecting the objects in the right order, you can have the same result. Well, because while patching, you may want to make a change in the patch so you can delete an object. So let's delete these connections. And now let's say that we want to connect first the message box on the left. Then we want to connect the number atom. And last, we want to connect the center message box. So now if I bang this, as you can see, the sequence is one, the number in the number atom, and then two. Now, if I delete the number atom and I create a new one, and then I will connect it, if I bang this now, as you can see, the sequence is different. So using a trigger object after the bang, it will make sure that whatever I do with the objects beneath it, the sequence will always be from right to left. So let's make another example. Now we can create another bang, and we can create a new print object, but this time we use a creation argument. Creation arguments into the print object will give a label that will be used to show what is sent specifically to what print object you have in the patch, because you can have several print objects in the same patch. So we will create a new print object and we will use bang01 as a creation argument. Now we can copy and paste it, and we change the creation argument to bang02. And let's create another one, and we'll change the creation argument to bang03. Now, again, if I make the connections from left to right, like this, when I bang, as you can see in the console, the bang will be given a specific order. If I delete the connections, and I will make them again from right to left, and then I bang, as you can see, the order is from right to left. So the bang created by the bang object here will be sent in this order, in this sequence, from right to left. 
So as you can see, the sequence of connections or the order of connections, it is really, really important in PD. So keep this in mind when you create your patches, and I hope that this tutorial was helpful to better understand how connections work in PD and why we want to use the trigger object if you want to be sure that the sequence of processes that we are using in our patch are executed in the same order. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week. Ciao!